growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be. Four, three, two, one, and it's lit. And welcome back to another episode of Lit Podcast. And you know how we do it. You know what I'm saying? If you need anything like her, you know what I'm saying? Eyelashes, bundles, and all that, you know it's going to be down there in the uh, description. You make sure you hit the ShantayWay.com. Make sure you hit that lit, you know what I'm saying, for the motherfucking promo code so you can get 20 to 30% off, you know what I'm saying? Or even 75% off some of the merchandise up in there, you know what I'm saying? So check that out. Oh, also, you know what I'm saying? We're going to break this in like this, you know what I'm saying? We got somebody special here. You know what I'm saying? It came down. You know, just come fuck with us, man. You know what I'm saying? I want to just say shout out to all the people, man, who tune in and really want to come down and, you know what I'm saying, and smoke some motherfucking weed with motherfucking me. You know what I'm talking about? Lit podcast. You know what I'm talking about? But anyway, let me get off the bullshit, you know. But right here, I got, you know what I'm saying, I am legend. You know what I'm saying? In the building today. You know what I'm saying? I want everybody to roll up your blunts. You know what I'm saying? Light it, light it up, you know what I'm saying? And smoke with me and smoke with my boy. I am legend, you know what I'm saying? Cause we finna go down there through there today. You know what I'm saying? How you doing, man? I'm doing beautiful, man. I'm here with a legend. Uh, already, uh, man, he calling me a legend, I'm man. He got his name. His name, I am legend. You know? I, 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 I am, but I'm sitting next to legend. It's on the wall. Man. Check the man rap sheet, man. That's what he say. Man, man, I'm humble, man. I don't need to talk about myself, man. I be, low, I be laid in the shade, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got to. You got people that can vouch for you, man. Already, so, already. Like, it is what it is. Yeah, I already, man. I yes, just try to, you know, I just try to do what I do right now, you know what I'm saying? I ain't where I want to be, but I'm still, you know what I'm saying, striving. I'm happy. Yeah. I got my family. I'm breathing, you know what I'm saying? And, hey, we doing this right here. Right, this, right. And what this podcast is about is showing homage, mm -hmm. giving people their flowers while they're here, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, celebrating them while they're here, you know what I'm saying? And, and also to give people a chance out there to know the person behind the artist mm -hmm. and the artist behind the person. You know what I'm talking about? That's a lot of personalities. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and, them, and they exist. Yeah, yeah right, exist. right. I think all artists are kind of some fucking schizo or some type of way. You got to be real colorful in the mind to be an artist because you got to come up with different ideas, different personalities, mm -hmm. song methods, feelings, vibes. That shit is... They can wear an average person right and out. You got to be very colorful to do this. Yeah, and try to stay with the trends and, you know, and when you want to do your own thing, you know. Yeah. I think that's really kind of hard when, you know, they got people pushing one thing and you trying to break through with, you yeah. know. Yeah, I know how it goes. That shit's so, nerve wracking. <laughs> tell people, tell people out there, where, where you from? I'm from, uh, I'm, I'm, damn, I forgot. You smoking weed out of my no, nose. No, no, no. <laughs> lit! I'm lit! Uh, I'm from Reston, Louisiana, slash Vallejo, California. I claim Vallejo, California because half of my life I grew up in You got your gang from there. Yeah, I got, my, my street gang came from Vallejo, California. Yeah, straight from the motherfucking soul. But my humbleness and my suaveness and the debonair come from the south. You understand oh, me? Really? From the south. Mm -hmm. That's where it come from, man. Straight up, straight yeah. up. So, what, I mean, like, what it's like growing up out there in Rusty and then moving all the way to to Vallejo? Shit. Uh, it Vallejo, right? Yeah, Vallejo. Okay, Valley Vallejo. Joe. Valley yeah. Joe. Oh, uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. He's a big uh, trench star out there. What it's like growing up in Rusty, I'm going to be honest. It's, it's like being trapped in a box. All right. And I'm going to be straight real. That's right. what it's like because we're segregated right. like we got this thing called the bridge where you know the negroes over here and the caucasian people live over there mm -hmm. and we don't go over there no i don't smoke oh okay we got another another non smoke i don't smoke i don't <laughs> more it, it, it like my nigga devin do say in this mode for me <laughs> <laughs> but it's like so segregated that it's weird and with that being said we only fuck with us mm -hmm. on my side of the neighborhood right like this is what it is right so it is it's rough and raw, and we do some real crazy ping bang shit. Right. But you take all of the weight, there's so much talent in that motherfucker. Man, so who, like, out of your town, who started it? Who jumped it off? T like, Fresh who? and Mark B. Okay, okay, you were telling me about them. You know, so, that, Mark B. so that was like the music scene coming up out of them? They were like the epitome of art. Look, if you wanted to rap. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta go through T first. You want, right. you want to get your music played. You gotta talk to Mark. Right. He, right. they, these two was like uh, Rock him and Eric B. Right. They was like that. They, they was our Eric B. Rock. Yeah, that's how we got. We got people like that out here. Yeah. So you know, they like the gods of the, of the city. So right. Like, All right. Okay. You can't. Man, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on, man. Why y'all talking in the middle of my podcast? Man, this. 
Nigga, this is a package that I have to get for you. Oh, okay, here, give me my package. <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta give my name. Hey, I got a package coming in. That we live. That's how we do it on Lit Podcast. We want it like, like shit. Like shit. <laughs> Everything is real up on here. You know what I'm saying? We up here trying to get deep down. You know what I'm saying? We got people mm-hmm. delivering. Oh, oh, oh. that's you know like saying? real live work. It's it's stuff. It's not, it's editing. Editing. So this is just straight. I'm not wrong. editing this out. This I, is going this live. This is. I, I like this. You know what I'm saying? Plus, it's birthday week, so birthday presents and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Not not. Nah, 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 oh. nah, 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 that oh. lyrical birthday, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, happy birthday, Yeah, lyrical. yeah, you know, no, Aries, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. April 4th, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to lyrical, happy birthday, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir, happy birthday, Nick. queen. So you saying, like, they was, like, y'all run DMCs, y'all, you yes. know, y'all, y'all everything in y'all town. Yes. So, like, yes. what, so what, y'all used to, what, skip school and go, what, buy their CDs and, like, it, it wasn't, we didn't have, it wasn't that. Mm-hmm. They used to be, like, the talent shows, they was always that. Right. In the streets. Always there. Right. Like, it, it was all they was always rapping. And right. when you know you gotta go talk to DJ Mark D. Who gonna be up there rapping? T Fresh. Nobody can beat. Nobody could beat this dude. Okay. Nobody okay. fuck who you was. All you right. can't do it. So okay, so y'all knew y'all knew when they show up it was it was a problem. Yeah, just sit your ass down. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sit your ass down and enjoy the show. So, so where they at now? Uh they back at home. I I think, no, I think one of them passed away. Mm, I think RIP, DJ, I, I think DJ Mark V got caught in the house fire and he got burnt to death. Oh shit. So that, that broke, the back broke our heart. So what landed you to say like, okay, I'm finna go ahead and just start doing this music. I'm finna go, cause I, I listen to your music. Yeah. I had to go and, you know, do my little research on yeah. you, you know what I'm saying, and everything yeah. like that. And, I, and, I, and you're very diverse. Yeah. And, and I'm like, you know, I, I, you know, I, I want to add before you answer that question. Go ahead. Is that you singing too? Yeah, that's me. Okay. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of figured it. You know, so I kind of figured it when I heard it. But I just wanted to clarify that because yeah. when I heard, it, I was like, wait a minute. I say they ain't got the pop vibe. Then he rapping. Yeah. I say, oh, okay. Uh, hey, that, something serious. That 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 shit is that shit is normal for somebody from the south. Right, right, to right. To be right, honest, because right. the south is raised on church. Right. And so right, you, right. if your mama sang or your grandmama sang, that shit is in you. It's in you. So uh-huh. it's nothing for us to go do a hum or a riff. We probably can't sing, but let us hum something. Right, right, right. That right. shit gonna see if she gonna right. sound right. Put some reverb on. Put some reverb on. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Or you know, being from Louisiana, yeah. you have that bounce sound. Right. You know what right, I mean? So right. I just figured out how to play. No, I'm lying. My mother know how to sing. Uh-huh. And so she taught me how to sing first. Uh-huh. And I didn't like it. But mm-hmm. when I realized it was getting girls, I liked it. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, it's getting girls. But when it came to hip hop, my cousin Bruce uh, Price and my cousin Chuck, rest in peace, they turned me on to it. Okay. Now each one of these cousins had different sounds. Right. My cousin um, Price, he listened to East Coast music. Oh, okay. So you were telling me about that. Run DMC. Mm-hmm. All right, so then you got Bruce. That's who turned me on to the West Coast E40. Okay, okay. Then you had my cousin Chuck. He was just straight. If you, if you can't rap like this, you suck. He was just straight lyrics. Right, right. So listening to these fools. Right. We was like, you got to do this, got to do this. So I was like, I don't know how to do that shit. But I just took all their tapes and just listened to them every day. Right. And I just came up with many names. I'm bit many artists and all this type of shit. But he was like, you got to find your own. Right, you gotta find your own you lane. You gotta find your own lane. That's the biggest thing. You gotta find your own lane. Yeah, because <laughs> that shit is is it is, is. But an artist, what an artist gotta understand is that when you first start off, you're not gonna have your own lane because you're imitating someone you like. Yeah. You know what I mean? And a lot of people don't want to say that, like, right. but you mm-hmm. are. You're imitating something that you like. You get that. I think you get your own feel is when you start realizing your own sound. Right. Like this is what I want to rap right, about. Right, right, right. And when you get that shit, right. then you can paint. You can right. point it. Cause Weezy did it in your face. Yeah. Right. We watched him, bro. We watched him do it. Yeah, we you watched know him, bro. Do the drop. <laughs> Straight up, cause he was rocking ding bang and next thing you know this nigga, oh fuck I get up on the end of whooping your ass. I was like, oh my God. So a lot of artists are afraid to do that. Yeah, yeah I know mean, they really are. Yeah. Man, how long you been doing music, man? Uh shit, bro, since I was sixteen. 16. Yeah, I was just doing music, but like actually saying, okay, I'm gonna do it. Mm-hmm. it was, I started at 18. 18. Yeah. So that's when. And I what you do? Like, what you what you put a project out? I put a project, project out. I got oh, okay. I got I got my first contract at 18. Local. Local. Yeah. Okay. Well, who? Well, Tippy Toe Records, my cousin. Tippy Toe. Okay. All right, yeah. Bet. So he signed me. It was cool. I thought hey. I was a yellow Tupac back then. You oh. oh <laughs> shit. Hey, you had the bandana and everything. I had no baby, like, but I just had that, and now because uh-huh. Pac was my pop. I don't know for me. Well, for me, he was like my dad. Right, right. Because right, Pac right. would say some shit. You'd be like, "What he say? What right. you doing? This right, and this right. And we would listen. If Pac said, when Pac said, "Fuck the East Coast," a lot of people were like, "Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Fuck the East Coast." 
And we don't even know why we saying this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm being real. Like, the nigga can say anything and we'll be like. Influential. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. and yeah. I was like, I want that type of power. Yeah, he had mass influence. Yeah. You know what I'm so, you know, it was it was amazing that that happened. And you know, it's crazy that you said that because I was watching Melly Mel and Melly Mel was talking about how, you know, how great Tupac was, but Biggie wasn't, you know what I'm saying, to a certain degree, you know right. what I'm saying, because, you know, how he was setting trends, how everybody wanted to be Tupac, everybody Fucking took on right. that persona, yeah. but you don't hear nobody want to be Biggie. Biggie or, you know, and I, I, I like didn't that. understand that. But they, yeah, but they, but yet, he was saying Biggie had lyrics though. Biggie Lyric, was a storyteller. Yeah, he reminded me he was a uh, heavy Slick Rick. That's what right. reminded me of Slick mm -hmm. Rick. That's the greatest storyteller ever to me. Yeah, like he can sit there and spit some yeah. shit to you. Mona Lisa was dope and uh, what's that bedtime story? Yeah, bedtime story. She was. She was never, come on. You get that? Come on, man. Come on, shit, Lottie Dottie. We all like, like the party. party. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, he and, still got and, some shit. And that's a lot of shit too. Uh, a lot of artists don't even. I, I big up everybody. Right. Like I big up Texas in a heartbeat. Because, right. Like I said, that next door. I big up the East Coast because that shit came right. from the East Coast. Well, it came from Jamaica, mm -hmm. but then it went to the East Coast mm -hmm. and. So East Coast influence is on me as well. All the artists because that's what the fuck we know. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right, but right. the South didn't have a sound. Right. So we just imitated what we seen. Mm -hmm. Same thing as the West Coast. Right. Until somebody said, you know what, fuck this, this is our sound. Right. Then it's one on the West Coast, fuck this, this is our sound. So now you got these uh I think the sound has been segregated for a long time. Right. But now we all together. Right. But it's all sound the same. We used to say we used to have a whole saying in the South like you know, the, the, the sound is always our being our sound. You know what I'm saying? Correct. That. Like, you know, because our granddaddies and granddaddy's brothers and great granddaddy brothers and them left and went to the north. Yeah. Went to the east. You know you what I'm saying? Went to the right. West, you know what I'm saying? You're right. You know what I'm talking about? And then, like, a lot of, especially like a lot of history down here, especially like, you know, uh, Led Belly, Led Belly, uh, Led Belly, uh, Led Belly. Take you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, it, it's a tongue twister, you know what I'm saying? Live belly, live better, you know what I'm saying? But you know, people like that. People was coming down from the north and from the east, everywhere, just to get him just to write songs and play the guitars oh, and record it and to go get other black men, or, uh, go get other white men to redo what he did. There's a lot of people in the side, man. It's a lot of history. A lot of people just don't know about music. Yeah, you know they, what I'm saying? We, just like, we get looked over pretty bad, but yeah. you, it's one thing, one thing you got, you can't deny. Most of you East Coast people and West Coast people, in no disrespect, y'all are us. Because oh, yeah. most of y'all people are from here. Oh, yeah. and they just migrated out there. So oh, yeah. you got that self in you. Same. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You, It's in you. No disrespect when I say that. But it's in you. Because a lot of people from the West Coast say, I got people in the South. My yeah. grandma is right. from the South. Or my yeah. auntie. I'm like, well, you just like me. You yeah. just out here. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I tell I tell nigga every day, you know what I'm saying? It's where you're from and it's where you're at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta keep that. As you know what I'm saying? Bro. Shit. Bro. I don't yeah. give a damn, just like an animal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know shit, you go get the motherfucking tiger up out there wild and bring him to the zoo, he finna adapt. Yeah, he gonna you know adapt, but he's shit. still a fucking tiger. He's a tiger, though. I you know seen that when I went to um, Fort Worth Zoo not too mm -hmm. long ago. That's why mm -hmm. I tell niggas don't get niggas twisted just because the niggas stay in the suburbs, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know, like, you know, like me personally, I ain't from the motherfucking suburbs, but I'm just saying, though. You, yeah, yeah, I know niggas in the suburbs, niggas been from the hood, they got all they motherfucking life. Right. And I know niggas in the suburbs, you know, it's hey man, just they born and raised and but about that motherfucking life. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't judge a book by a couple, man. So, you can't do that at all. No, nah, no, nah, nah, not at all, man. Not at all. So man, what's man, so like let me So like, okay, so you got with this label when you dropped you so what, what what was it what was it like when you dropped your first project? Was it I mean, was it something that you you thought was it was gonna be? Like Hell no, I knew it wasn't gonna be. <laughs> and I'm being honest, hell no, this is why. Because I I thought I was pop. <laughs> I didn't have that juice, you know what I mean? But I went to the West Coast and I came back. So I was like, okay, I got the West Coast and I got the South. Make this and I I couldn't find my sound. You know what I mean? Right. So I had my homeboys uh the trigger, and I watched them make this song called Pussy Pop. Okay. And I watched them make it, and the song was getting ready to do what it do, and everything just messed up. Right. So I kept, I always study people who go further than me. Right, To right. try to figure out, how did they do that? What did they do? What are they looking like? How did they dress? What did they say? So right. that shit, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a sponge. I soak up everything. Okay. And okay. then when I get it, I rig it out, and I still point out people who taught me. I just don't like, oh, I did it myself. Mm -hmm. Like, no, nigga, I got game from this person and that person right, and that right. and this. Like, I'm sitting here with you. Right, right. You might, I might 
like God bless me to blow up, I'll be like, yo, I gotta come back and whoop, right. whoop, 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 whoop. I'll do something to right. let you know I appreciate what you right. did. You know what I mean? So, man, I, I wasn't expecting for that shit in the movie. Yeah. I didn't have not one hit record on that motherfucker. I was excited that I got signed and I did. Sign, you know what I mean? I was like, yo. oh, okay, I got a CD. But, <coughs> so what you learned from that, like, what, like, what you, Got that, and you structured that. You know, I know, did you burn some CDs, get out, try to sell it? Yeah, I mean, it, I did it. Yeah, you, you did. You know it. what I mean? Okay. I, I did the footwork. So then, once you learn, okay, once you once you find out, like, okay, this is one it, what, what what started changing your mind frame to, like, go, like, even harder for the music? My uncle. Your uncle. He told me some shit, like, hey, listen, you can't rap about shit if you don't lick. I was like, what? You, you ain't shot nobody. You ain't sold no drugs. You ain't did shit. <laughs> you gotta go live this shit you talk about. I said, okay. Oh, no. I <laughs> took my ass to California. <laughs> I went back to California. And now when I'm hanging in California, all my homies are in the streets like that. Right, right. And so I'm like, okay, well, how the hell I'm gonna get this? Because I couldn't rap what they was talking about. Right. So I just, they were pimping. And they everything. was pimping, yeah. hustling, like I'm yeah. doing the most. So I was like, well. I'm like, we're going to get in this motherfucker get my, get my stories in line. Right. And I got out there and got my stories in line. Didn't know how to hustle worth shit. You know what I'm saying? The first time ever busting down something, I done fucked it up, made it crumbs. Right. I done did it wrong, didn't cut the blade wrong, gave the pistol away on accident. I was a horrible hustler. I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. I was bad. You know what I'm saying? I never did that one. Man. I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? You, my brother, my brother Vicious laughing at me just like, like, what type of, you country ass nigga, you don't know. I'm like, man, I don't know nothing about this shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's like, well, you might not be good at this. Here, try this. Right. So he gave me some pills and some weed. Right. I was good at that. Oh. So the pills and weed, I, boop, 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 boop. He found some snow buttons. I said, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know what a nigga is when you know what a nigga is when that nigga drugs his choice. You know, I thought the pills and we, uh, that nigga got some snow buttons. <laughs> <laughs> For real, yes, it was what it was. Oh, really? Oh, and, really? I, and I executed with excellence on that. And cool. Cool. Them, them things right there, that's what took me across different state lines. Right, right. Because right. it, because the first place I ever went when I went to go slump now uh -huh. was in San Francisco. Oh. Like Ashley on the blade. Yeah. That was a whole different ball. I never seen shit like this in my life. Yes. Never. When Phil Most Slim tell you about yeah. what it's like about mm -hmm. that, that shit was real. Yeah. I was like, oh shit. Because you got 16th and Mission, but then you have the street over where the stroll is at. Mm -hmm. And so you can just walk around the corner, bam, whole century. And you in the mix like a blender. See how he did that? Like, like he had powder in the hair and they yeah. whole central, oh, nigga. Right. It was just, it was amazing. I need to do it like a dust <laughs> thing when we do this. <laughs> it was whole central. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. And my ex-wife, rest in peace, Lashana, she was out right there. Yeah. I mean, she was out there. And mm. my pimp walked up to me and said, hey, this your hope. I was like, nah. He was like, uh, I'm gonna give you some game, yo, pimp. If you're gonna be a pimp, you can't have your wife out here because somebody can kidnap and snatch off the street. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how real the shit was. So I seen bitches get through out the back of the car. Uh -huh. Watch the pimps get locked up. Yeah. Motherfuckers running from the car. I think this shit is real. <laughs> like this. And next thing you know. When they were like on Boss Up. Remember Boss Up? You remember exactly Boss Up? what that, that yeah. shit was like. Or, or back then? <laughs> yeah, and to be honest, this is the first time I've ever talked about this with anybody. You know, because I don't talk about it because I just don't want to. Right, Because right, I'm right. so focused on the music. But right. so I'm just, I don't know, maybe I'm just comfortable with you like that. Right, Robert. And shit. I'm just gonna give it to you raw. Right. Like, gave it to me raw. Yeah, yeah, like, lit. Shit, yeah, nigga ain't even smoke. He might got a contact on it. But now that's some real shit. Now, now we all have to, you know what I'm saying, do some motherfucking twists and some turns. Turn, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If, you know how we do it slow mo. You know what I'm saying? One thing yeah. with the control, you know what I'm saying? Watch the motherfucking pothole. Right, so, for real. Nah, for real. So I know. That shit is wild. But now, nah, man, like, so, man, tell me, tell me about I Am Legend, man. How you even get the, what, what the name come from? You know what I'm saying? Because, like, when I looked at it, when I say I Am Legend, I said, damn, this nigga on some Will Smith shit. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah. oh, oh, shit, nigga, yeah, yeah nigga. I that's see. where I got the name from. Okay. I mean, because I, when I, okay, first I was Picasso. Okay. Because right. I, I love art. I love All art. Right, you man. know what I mean? Yeah. Then I went to Maserati, Maserati on the future, but then I started realizing this is Maserati, yay, or ye, or something like that. Yeah, uh-huh. I was like, okay, shit. All yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, okay, I'm for the change. Maserati out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm for the change. My name, we got to be something that I feel comfortable with. Right. And I watched Will Smith, and I said, I feel like that. I feel right. alone. Right, right, You know right. what I mean? Because I, I do at right. times. It's like being an artist. And being in the streets, sometimes you feel alone. Right. And you just be like, nigga, I'm out by myself. Right. And you don't feel like you belong nowhere. 
You know what I mean? So if I don't feel like I belong nowhere, I'm gonna become my own legend. I'm gonna do it the way I do. Right. I'm gonna set my own tone. And let your music speak. I'm let my music, cause I don't have time to be for nobody. Right. I let my music talk. Right. Like fuck that. I don't got time. If I'm sitting here and shoot the shit with you, I could be shooting the shit with money. Right. Like, why right. am I doing that? So I'm like, I'm just gonna make the music. Let them numbers do the numbers. That's how I look at it. So, so, so you come from Picasso to I Am Legend. You just sitting there. Was you nigga? Was you drinking? Was you high? Was you? What was you just sitting there? I was just, uh, I was laid back in the chair getting some head, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what. No, my name! That's my name! That's my name! <laughs> Shout out my name! I Am Legend, bitch, that is it! <laughs> now I remember my name! I know what it is! Yeah, but no, man, uh, real shit. I was just, I, I always been a fan of the movie. Right, right. And I just couldn't figure out what I wanted. And right. so I just like, okay, if I change my name to this, I got I got to actually, this is the artist part of, of right. any artist. You have to become that. You know what I mean? So I'm legend. Right. That means I got everything I got to do got to be legendary and I got to walk as a legend, talk like a legend, and be as such. And that's when I just ran with it. I said it feels comfortable because people in the Bay know me for legendary shit right. that I was doing when I was in the game. People right. at home, when I brought that shit back home, people know me for certain shit for that. So, I kept it that way. And and like I told my, I was telling my brother, I said, I don't want to be remembered for the shit that I did before, I want to be remembered for what I'm doing now. Well, I'm That's more now. of a legacy to right. me. Right. I don't think my mother would, my mother loved me, she's right. proud of me, right. but this is giving her something to talk about. Right, right. Like, look at my son, he came from this to this to this to this to that. Right, right. That's why. Already. Yeah. So, like, I think I do got a contact. The problem is shit. If you do shit, you lit. It's shit. You gotta, you gotta get the wrong with shit. Do you do any drugs? I used to. What is shit? What weed? No, I used to do weed. I used to pop X. Hella, hella. Okay, hella, we gonna get to a we gonna get to a fucked up a drug story then. Yeah. We gonna have a, on my podcast. <laughs> we talk about weed. Stories. I don't give a fuck. You know, like what was your fucked up experience one time? Uh, so, I tell you that. Yeah, I've been drinking bamboo lately. Bamboo? Yeah. Oh, Bombay. No, Bamboo. Bum okay, turn me on, because, you know, I'm a hood nigga. I say Bombay. The, 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 one, the, one, um, the rum that Lil Wayne be drinking. That's what mm. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Oh. Now, I be okay. drinking that. Now, I learned if you put that bitch in the freezer, right. let it sit, it tastes like vanilla. Oh. And so I be sipping this shit so much, I look up. Vanilla. I'm like, oh, man, I'm drunk. I'm drunk. What the about? Because I just be sitting there sipping that shit. Vanilla. It man. tastes like vanilla. Oh, like, I ain't never had nothing like that. Like, ain't that a cue? It, it's just chill. Vanilla. Yeah, vanilla. Shit. It's dope. Shit. I mean, shit. <laughs> vanilla. Shit. Vanilla. Manila. What, nigga? Oh, oh, what? 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 What were we talking about? Uh, van, uh what's that? Nilla vanilla. What were we talking about, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck were we talking about, nigga? This shit was the cute, nigga. Yeah, I don't know the cute. Cause I'm like, damn. Do I need to know this cute? Uh, me too. I'm like, you know, you can't be fucking with me when I'm cute, <laughs> nigga. Nigga, shit. <laughs> wow, nah, man. So for real, like, on some real shit, like. I want to know how serious did you take the music? Like, okay, now, cause now, you you done with this project? You know, you 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 you, you moving on, mm -hmm. Cali. You developing your style. Now you got your style. How did you know you got your style? How did you know when you was like, this, this is, it? is it? I still didn't know. Okay. Cause I was I was hanging around my brother's KC. It's a bunch of us. And right. You got a you got a dude from Oakland. You got a dude from Long Beach. One from Vallejo. One from Sac. And all these people. I didn't. I think it's. I think da Dallas the same way. Like each person, each part of uh, each part of uh, Dallas, uh -huh. like Oak Cliff and everybody else, like yeah. all the other East point. Dallas, South East Dallas, Dallas all Dallas. of them have the different type of mentality and right. different types of styles. Right. So right. I'm just right. sitting here looking at everybody like, how the fuck I'm finna fit in here? So I was like, okay, I battled against my uh, my brother Fina. That's how I got in. Okay. So we didn't. Neither one of us won, but we was just knocking heads. Right. And I still didn't get a style. I didn't get my style. Into like probably like four years ago. Mm. I'm being serious okay. because I was not taking it serious. Right. Because right. I get distracted. Right. And I just like okay, fuck that. I ain't finna do music right now. I'm finna go do this. Right. All right. But this time I said, you know what? Fuck that. I'm focusing on me. Right. And when I did, uh, when I did my, when I started making more music, I was like, okay, this is not what it is. And for some reason, one day it just hit. And when it hit. I said, this is it. This is it. You know what I'm and, saying? And I just ran with it. You just ran with it. So, yeah. like, like, cause I, I like to, I like to, you know, I, me, I like, you know, each one teach one. Right. So, 
in that process, was you even thinking about, you know, what was your outlets of putting the music out? What was your outlets of like retaining money back? Like, I didn't have none. So do you? So do you know anything about the music business? I know about the businesses, but I I haven't never received money from money it. from it. I, I know I know what I knew what to do is either go be illegal or go get your punk ass a job. That's what I knew. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So so have you ever so have you ever did and dab and ask out BMI? I got ask out. I got. You ask, you I got asked. I got paid. I did get paid. Okay. I got paid eighty nine dollars. That uh -huh. was like the world to me. But that's still money. <laughs> right. So, so like, oh, what shit. about what about what about do you got the ask out publishing? I got that too. Okay. So you got ask out writers and you got ask out publishing. Yep. Okay. And do you got BMI publishing too? Uh uh, cause I I will talk, they will say that you can't have ass cap. Okay, baby. stop listening to everybody all the time. Okay, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Sometimes you gotta stop listening to everybody. What they what they are saying though, they are right. They're not right. wrong. What they saying is you can't have two writers. You oh, see okay. what I'm saying? Well, fuck that. But you can have multiple publishing. See, I didn't know see, that. See, publishing is the money. Mm -hmm. I see, you want to you, you you have true. publishing with ass cap. Mm -hmm. You want to have publishing with BMI. You want to have publishing with CSAC. And you want to also get your publishing established. The whole company established with Harry Fox Agency. Okay. You see what I'm saying? That's how you get your stuff solidified. Uh, do you got sound exchange? Yeah, I got that. No, I got media base. Media? Well, no, yeah, okay, no, no. well, media base is good. It's, it's kind of like BDS. You know what I'm saying? You want to get Nelson BDS too. Mm -hmm. Nelson BDS track all your stuff and then uh, media base too. But you want to get your Nelson BDS uh, set up account through there. You want to also um, you want to check out Sound Sound Exchange. Sound okay, Exchange get, get your uh, what, what is it? Interactive place that, or that not? Non interactive place. Yeah, to get your catalog set up and everything like that. Your catalog. I want so y'all understand. You didn't have a catalog of anything that you ever had registered or put out. Really? I want y'all yeah. to understand something right now. I don't know. Since I've been doing this the right way, I've been getting people like this just giving me game. And not, it's just giving it to me. So I just want y'all to know if y'all start getting focused and doing that shit, the game will show beloved back. That's what I've been doing. That's what it's about, though. You know what I mean? Because when, when you in the street, OG, you don't, OGs will show you love. Right, you know, right. When you fucking up, now this is what my, my, my street father taught me. Right, right. Like when you in the street and you don't be good to the game, the game will be good to yeah. you. Yes, you know what I mean? You're not gonna be successful. That's my nigga Pimp C said, and the game been good to me. And now I understand that, you know what I mean? So I've been good to the music, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And I've been listening to the man of above, like this is where I want you to do it. So now since I'm doing it, I get people like this gentleman on here and this guy behind the camera, they just plug you in like a light socket and hit the switch. Yeah, I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the gas. I'm gonna hit the gas full throttle because I want to see what a, what, what a person that too meant because I know that our artists are. But at the end of the day, we also too want to, you know, receive benefits. Certain, right. you know, what I'm saying sometimes we don't make it famous. Sometimes we don't make it to that limelight or nothing like that. But like I tell people, it's people who's not famous. Not it's people who's not in the limelight make way more money in a back in a cut. Yeah. Than the people who's in that line. I heard the shadows always got it right. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, like what's some things you wish you would have known before you started your career? What I wish I would have known. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I wish I would've known that I could write books, cause now I write books too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I wish I, wish I would've known that I could just take my time. Mm -hmm. I don't have to prove nothing to no one. Right, you know right, what I mean? right, right. And, and all the things I'm learning now, it's like, okay, since I learn it now, I'm glad I learned it now. Right, because right. Because now I'm more mature to understand it. Right. And listen, cause when you're younger, you're immature, nobody can tell you shit. Right. You don't wanna listen, you know what I mean? They ignore you fucking thing. Right. Now I can sit here and listen to somebody and really understand it and go do something about it. Instead of just, oh man, this nigga know what talking about. He ain't, <laughs> cause I mean, I don't nah, know. For, real, for some for people, real. Some, people don't, some people don't listen to people who don't have it. And I don't understand that. You know what I mean? Like just cause you don't have it don't mean they don't know. If, if they make any nah, sense. Nah, it makes sense, a lot of sense, you know, and that's like, I think that's what's wrong with our community, especially us as, you know, black folks. Like, right. Like I say, you know, I've been sharing a lot of, a lot of stuff on my podcast. It's like our mentality has to change, you know, yeah. for for the better because, shit, we're going we gonna to instinct ourselves, whether we know it yeah, or not. Yeah, we fucking it up right, right. now. I don't you know, get it. Yeah, yeah. You know, don't you know, I was like, no, not to jump off subject, but I, I like to it. throw gems out there. But you know that black man's are the number one cause, I'm, I'm talking about out of council, Fucking AIDS, whatever. Number one cause of death for black women, black men are. 
I can believe it. You know what I'm saying? I can really can fucking that, say, it. More that, like, yeah, and I like to share that out there because I was just like, even though we we may not see it on a day to day basis, and we be like, nah, it can't be true. But if you look up, you know, if you look up them numbers, them numbers don't lie. Yeah, numbers you know what I'm saying? Not, no, the numbers don't lie, even no. though they can fabricate some numbers on the pole. But you know, but, I mean, <laughs> but if we sit back and look at it, we can be if we being honest. Like me and really honest, uh -huh. we can sit back and look and just really be honest and say, we fucking this shit up. Yeah, we is. We really fucking it up. There's no way we cannot be in position of power. Because if you got the the Latin the Latin section, the Asian section, the Arab, and the Caucasian section, you mean tell me we can't have the same thing? I'm like, why did they, why are we so wired that way of design? I mean, I read the Willie Lynch thing and understood everything that I right, read, but right, I'm like, right. okay, so why? Won't the men and women just say, you know what, I'm done. Right. I love you, you love me. Let's make this shit happen. Right. Yeah. But we'll find an excuse to be like, nah, man, she's this and this and so we'll go get a Mexican or Asian or whatever and think life is better. I'm going to be honest, all women are damn near the same because they're females. Because mm -hmm. if she's been tragically fucked up, no matter if she's white, blue, or green, right. she's fucked up. You right. know what I'm saying? It's a You heard fuck. that Kelly come out? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real, yeah, she's for fucked real. up. Like, nigga, that's just what it is. But right. we get a son, oh, sister's fucked up. Well, well you fucked her up. You know what I'm saying? So we fucked up as men. You yeah. know what I mean? Because we don't have a father figure. You know what I mean? Or once again, the priest was our dad. And them niggas is teaching us have many bitches as you want. Do what the fuck you want. If you got a mama that's like a nigga, she gonna tell you, man, fuck them bitches, get what you want. No, and this is real shit. So yeah. we kind of fucked up. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, you just answered the question, too. <laughs> <laughs> so man, what so man, what you what kind of advice would you give anybody out there, man, trying to, you know, like pursue pursue the same, you know what I'm saying, aspects and dreams and aspirations you trying to pursue? Uh what I would what I would tell y'all is that uh don't listen to I ain't gonna say that. I'll say listen to your gut, listen to your heart. And if you really wanna do it, you gotta be serious. And if you really, really truly wanna do it, I'm sorry, but your homie might not be your homie and the girl you with might not be the one for you. Sometimes you gotta cut people the fuck out. Right. And it's hard to do. You know right. what I mean? So, but some people are distractions. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can work a job, you can work at McDonald's that don't like that bitch, but at least get some out of that motherfucker before you shake the spot. Then get you some bags of fries, nigga. Get you some patties, nigga. Get all the apple pies, nigga. <laughs> this nigga crazy. <laughs> Get your check if work that check. Yeah. Get that motherfucking check, man. I mean, I just I don't don't let nobody tell you what the fuck to do. Right, like, I don't, right. don't, don't let nobody put a limit on you. Right. You know, and that's one thing I don't understand about the hip hop culture. We always try to put a cap on something. We're oh man. We always trying to say, well, you can't do this because you're this. You can't do this. But like, who the fuck are you to tell you're me what old. I can't do? Yeah, you're like, dude, you this, you that. And it, it's not about that. I just think that I think if I think I heard famous people talk about this already. If, Rock and roll and jazz singers and all these other cultures of music can do it. Why we can't? Right. Why right. I can't? If I want to be 90 years old, as long as I'm whooping your ass in this right. music game, right. shut your fuck ass up and just take this old man whooping. You know what I'm saying? Old man whooping shit. They shit. And then I say what? Well, they would say easy does it. Easy <laughs> fucking does it, man. You know Buster Rhymes proved that point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Buster Rhymes, he came out murdering yeah, something. Yeah, but you know. he did. But it's, it's weird because they won't even give him rap god. That's crazy. And they when they should. Right, like they 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 I, mean, I mean, shout out, man. I respect what the artists do, and I don't right. like. I don't take shit from Eminem. You know what I'm man, saying? He's, the he's ever, one of my friends. You know, I and I don't take. It's not even about colors. It's just like just real nigga shit. You know, it, it's, it's people busting rhymes and. This is this is it, 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 way it, before the end that you should put it up there before you get there. Man, yeah, like, even even Kate Reno, if ain't nobody ever. I ain't never heard of it, but I'm gonna go yeah, back from Houston. Ace Town, yeah. Ace Town from Houston, Kate Reno. Oh my mm -hmm. god, like whooping ass like that. What? <laughs> Man, it's like, and it's and it's many more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like, but like, like, you know, hey, it, it breaks my heart to see that. You know what I mean? Because it just makes me think that it's no space for people in a in an older bracket. But I'm like, how can you say that? Like, cause I, I, this is what I'm saying. You can take an older artist with a younger artist. That older artist can teach the young artist how to really whoop your ass. Right. Like, I'm gonna show you how to get this done. Do you, you know think? I mean? Let me ask this. I don't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. Do you think? Do you think it's the accolades? Do you think it's like the plaques? Do you think it's the the award shows? Do you think it's that that really? Makes that that difference between us. Like, you, we we trying to. How can I put it? Um, 
Okay, like say everybody trying to search for a platinum plaque to say I'm platinum, or people trying to say I don't got some such 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 million records sold. Right. You know what I'm saying? Do you think that makes the blurred line between putting out genuine music or being genuine with music? Period. I think that. Mm. I think. Yes and no. Right. Okay. Yes, because you're chasing a trophy. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And you are the trophy. Right. You know what I mean? Right. It doesn't matter if you get a plaque or not, because this artist, they ain't never got a plaque and they shit spin right. constantly. Right. You know what I mean? Then, no, because shit, everybody want to know that you did good. You know what right. I mean? Like, you, it, it's like as a kid, you run it, you get a trophy, you the best. Right. You know, everybody But don't, but don't you think more. that caps us too? Yeah. It, it does. You think that, because you, you, you gotta realize you got only, yeah. there's only so much that can go yeah. through that phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, and it is, because it, it's, it's it's so fucking, it's a pinhole, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Cause, and you gotta do some wild shit. And then it's rigged too. Yeah, of course, everything is rigged. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? <laughs> because then now rigged. it becomes less about the art. Yeah, it's not about the art no more. It's then about, it uh, for me, you don't tell what I used to think. Right. I used to think these motherfuckers was buying the shit. Right. That's what I used to think. Right. Like, how the fuck you get 14 Grammys? But right. you got a motherfucker like, uh, when when Kanye jumped up and said Beyonce, Beyonce had the best song at all mm -hmm. times, which was true. But I'm like, okay, so I think people buy their positions. That's what I think. I really think people buy their fucking positions. Like, how you gonna, who was that, Roddy, Roddy, uh, Rich. Rich. Roddy Rich? That nigga, the box, deserved a Grammy. Mm -hmm. He didn't get it. Damn. He deserved that. Because that one record, that kid survived off that one fucking record. And though he did other music, but that box played for like a year and a half, <coughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> you know, and it's still being played. That's an immortal sound. Right. You know what I mean? So that's just like summertime. We'll smell summertime. Right. Mm. Immortal music. Mm. When you got something that's immortal, you're supposed to reward that. Man. Right. You yeah. can't deny that. Period. You can't. Nah. So yeah, you're right. The shit is watered down, it's rigged, it's locked up. The plaques don't mean shit, but it means something. Right. You know right. what I mean? Because there's nothing to hear you. And Grammy Award winning. Right. You just be like, oh, a Grammy. Man, like, you know like, I got a post I can get ready to post later on on my Instagram. I ain't posted yet. I already got it. I got shit I already pre made and stuff, and I right. didn't post them when I feel like it. Uh, but I like, it's this thing we, we, we talking about, uh, this dude talking about, like, how you can sell damn near 1,300 hoodies. Mm hmm. At the price of twenty five dollars, you know what I'm saying? It was some motor shit, you know what I'm saying? And you can make that million dollars just for them hoodies, but yet you got to get three point five billion streams just to even touch a million. That makes no sense. Like message, message. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm saying is like you know like like. It's other ways to like to become rich, you know what it's I'm saying? Many, many and really, right, right, right. It's many, and it's many, really many. way and, and to really just sell it out for a record deal or to sell it out, you know, for a certain loan or for plaques or things like that. Cause you know you gotta pay for your plaque. You know, you, you know you gotta pay for that, right? See, I told you I think yeah. shit, you can't pay for something. Yeah. I just yeah, say gotta, that shit. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta pay, pay for that. For that. Yeah, I don't want it then. It, it, ain't, it ain't free. It ain't free. Keep it. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? But you know, but like like what I'm saying is though, like, you know, that you know, like you can really change the aspect you know if we really stop thinking about the shiny things mm -hmm. and we really stop thinking about the that that so-called success level yeah you see what i'm saying because you know success blind people like you know, a, now, a lot of people don't know success blind you because you think that a piece of paper or this and that gives you you know um success yeah, a dude, this billionaire. Cause I watch, I sit and watch billionaires all day. That's all I do. I, I watch billionaires. Everything the billionaires eat, everything they drive, everything they can't buy, mm -hmm. and they be trying to buy everything. I, that's all I do. I watch that. You know what I'm saying? So when I wake up in the next morning, I'm trying to buy the next thing or get to the next thing I'm trying to get to. You know what I'm saying? In my life. So this one dude made some said something that made a lot of sense. He said he worked for this company. Did this company, built this company up. And nigga said, they made him employee of the year. This was like his 20th time or some shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? Being employee of the year. He said he thought, you know, he really finna go in there and get something. He said he went in there and had a shiny bucket. He said when he got the bucket, he said it was just a nice shiny bucket. And when he got the bucket, ain't shit in the bucket. Ain't shit in the motherfucking bucket. Just like when a nigga get that plaque. 
It's nothing in it. It's, it's nothing in it. Yeah, I can understand that. You know what I'm saying? I was one of the girls. I just want, I wanted the Grammy because they make it look beautiful. They make it look beautiful. And, and I was like, oh, but sometimes it ain't nothing. It doesn't matter I, to me no more. Man, this man, this ain't getting lit. Everybody want to come to the house when we doing podcasts and this stuff today. This Friday. Yeah, this, huh? And this See, you, you, know, you, you just gave the key on why, why you getting all these packages. Oh, yeah, I know. It's birthday. the birthday thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah it's the package See, day. You know what I'm saying? Tell them to blame it on the self, yeah. camera. You can open up the door because uh, your nah, fault. It was That's good. <laughs> you I still want to. I still want to know, like, like, go on, KK, get up out of here. Ain't nobody for you. Look, my dog, man. He was on the last podcast, man. He said he, tri he tripped out on the last podcast, man. Shit was funny. He on, he on camera time. Oh, no, no. Yeah, everybody know who he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He famous. Yeah, yeah. He famous. I, think he more famous. I think he more famous than me. Go upstairs, KK. I can believe it. Nah, for real. KK. But. Upstairs. Okay. Like. Go. Who, who, what's your, what's your yeah. main, like, who, who, who inspired you? Like, what was your main inspiration, like, to make you say, like, Keep going. Like I know you were talking about your uncle, but who really just like stood by your side? Like that really just rooted for you and just like like hey, you Keep got going. It. Damn. Uh that's a lot of people. But oh. the main vein of doing that, it was my brother. My right. brother, uh I call him Ferrari Rod. My brother, he uh I was in prison, like when I was in prison in two thousand and two. Mm. And he wrote a letter and he just said these I think it's three or four words he said to me, don't be a waste of talent. And it just triggered something in me. And so I was, and I just thought about it. I was like, shit. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, I was the oldest, but I was always the one that's fucking up. Oh, okay. You know okay. what I mean? So, right, right. But they seen it in you. They seen it in me. Right. And, you know, when you KK. fuck up, you think everybody sees you. KK. Fuck up. Hey, what? <laughs> he coming. Well, who coming? KK. Okay. Yo, I got him shit. Come on over here, shit. I got him shit. Cause my dog, he a beast. Yeah, right, look, come, on. Fuck up. come on, come on, come on. Look, now he on. Yeah, now nah, yeah, you know, cause you know I'ma get on him. <laughs> nah, man, but you know when you a fuck up, you think everybody look at you as a fuck up. Nah, that's for real. Yeah, I know, I know that feeling. Yeah, so I'm, he he set that off in me. You know what I mean? Then I I got the painting. Like I, I was in an art gallery. Okay. I just start painting shit. I'm not a dope. Artist, but I paint like a child, right? Uh, Basquiat type of mentality, right. mm -hmm. Picasso, like I said, mm -hmm. and I painted that and put "Don't be a waste of talent." And he still got that painting. Right. He said he's put it right down the mirror so he wakes up and look at it. <laughs> so he just set that tone in me. Mm. So I was like, "Oh shit!" You know what I mean? And meeting new people that I've been meeting since Dallas, right. like DJ Johnny Rip. What's up, John? Uh, what's up, Johnny Rip? You know what I'm saying? He said he'll say some. Cool shit to me. Uh, Jiggy Jane, she did a music review for me. She said mm. some cool shit to me. Right. Mm. I fuck with that. Nico, I love you. Man, just shout out Nico, man. Nico, Yo, we, we, I gotta get you on here, Nico. You know what I'm saying? Shout out two times. You know yeah, what I'm talking about? So they, these people will just say something. You can just say something to me and it right. just wakes up part of me. Oh shit, okay, bet. Boom. Right. And I just start running. So that's why I say it's hard for me to just to say one person. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a gang of people. Like just sitting here with you and I looked over here and I seen this plaque and being at the BET Awards, that just set something off in me. Man, that's a blessing, man. I mean, I don't mean to say a blessing because blessing means be little mm -hmm. or, you know, or be less. No, I mean to say, man, that's an honor because a lot of people don't even have that in their corner like that. A lot Hell of people no. have a you know, short fuel. Some people don't have none at all. So that's that's real talk. I want to know like, like what's what, describe your sounds you know, for me. I, I oh, want you, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause like, cause I, I was, you know, I was like, okay, all right. I said, okay, man. Cause it was like, I heard when I when I heard that the hook come in, he was singing and everything, and then I heard the rap come in. I was like, everything real smooth. Matter of fact, who doing your production and where you recording it? I record at home. Oh, okay. Uh, so you doing your own stuff? I, okay. I don't produce shit. I, I this is my formula. Uh -huh. All right. I go to YouTube. Right. I find beats that say for free. <laughs> and then this is what I'm doing. <laughs> I find beats that say free that fit me. So I, I somebody I forgot who hit me to this. It's like why you gonna spend money on tracks? Before you know if that's that track, right? You know, you know what I mean. Like, right, if right. you gonna buy a track and don't you know there's that if, if it's that record, if it's that record that can move you, right? So I do the music, I put the shit together, I sit there and listen to it. Like, okay, cool, mix it the way I want to mix, 
then I go perform it somewhere. Right. And I see how people react. I say, right. okay, that's one. Right, right. Do it again. That's right. two. Do it right. again. That's three. Right. Then I might do one nobody will ever listen to. Okay. That's the, the pop record. Like, it's a commercial record that I can pull out of my hand. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the music style comes from just listening to different music. Right. Because I understand it. Like, you got to have certain records on a record. Right. You know what I mean? I don't want to just say, okay, I'm a thug. I'm going to be all thug music. Right, right. My music has different colors <coughs> and emotions. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I might feel poppy. That's my. I might feel like I'm dirty south of that. Right. I might want to put Texas, Louisiana, California in one record. Right. Then, Dumbo. Yeah, yeah. I just want to stack it up. Next day I might do a dirty south record. Next day I might do a female record. Now I just do what I want to do right. because the artist is emotional. Right. You know what I mean? So I just don't want to put myself in a box. So when I hear the sounds or I hear a song, I just think of children. Right. Like, because a chip, kids pick up on shit. Right. Yeah. So fucking quick. Right. If they ain't repeating your shit in the car, jumping up and down, you ain't got it. Nah, you ain't got it. <laughs> you, ain't you ain't got, got it. it. You, you know it because every time that song come on, they already know the words. They know the words. You can listen to it like, nah, fuck man. you get to hear this. I ain't even get to hear this. Yeah, wait like, for me okay, to play so this. What type of music you listen to? Oh, shit. Uh, to be honest, uh -huh. like real shit, you ain't. I mean, I listen to the doors. Okay. I listen mm. to Jimi Hendrix, Jimi mm. Hendrix, Sebastian Bach. Okay. Mm. That's classical music. Mm. Beethoven, whenever I just want to chill. Then sometimes I won't listen to nothing. Okay. I just want to sit and just sit in quiet, see if I can hear my thoughts. Then I might listen to some Tory Lanez. I might listen to Kanye. Let me tell you who I listen to in Dallas. Uh -huh. Like who, who I just love. I, I, I salute to all the artists. I love them all, but Lorani always catch my ear. Right. Because right. he's fucking just unique. You know what I mean? Cause when I hear him rap, I'm like, damn, that nigga, he sound like such and such, such. He can bounce his style right, any right, fucking right. way. And I'm like, okay, I like that. Lil Ronnie Muffer? Yeah, Lil Ronnie Muffer. Oh, okay. I was like, I like this Lil Ronnie. Yeah. yeah, so I mean. Yeah, Lil Ronnie got some, yeah. He, he got some yeah, shit. Got some so I, I just sit back and watch. Yeah. And I, then I watch him do his Very visuals. Talented. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. I watch him do his visuals. I'm like. Yeah. Highly okay. talented. Yeah, it reminds me of Buster Rhymes. Right. The visuals that right. they do. Yeah. So I was like, oh, man, this shit pretty dope. So like I said, it's a. I love Mo3, rest mm -hmm. in peace to Mo3, I listen to Yellow Bees, I listen mm -hmm. to Trap Boy, I listen to all the artists, um, the artists that just passed, C Stroke. Yeah, C, C Strokes. Oh, when I heard yeah. that shit, I was like, this nigga dope. Yo, I, and he was dope to me because he reminded yeah. me of Biggie. Right, right. And I was like, this nigga dope. But, you know. Yeah. You know, you know RPC Kid, RP, so C Shrugs, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so three, two. I listen to Dallas music. Yeah, I really. And so I just sit back, and like I said, I'm from Louisiana, so. Houston and Dallas, y'all influenced right. Louisiana, Ruston, Louisiana, and right. so we like y'all shit. Nah, really, we, we love nah, the really. music. Man, shout out to y'all. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? Goddamn me for real. We gonna yeah. show the love yeah. back. You know what I'm saying? That's why. So like, I wanna know like. Okay, so I know you're into classical music. So you know, yeah, I listen to you. You got any merch? You got any merch? You got any merch? Oh, the music is the merch. Oh, the music is the merch. Okay, the music is the merch. Okay, not yet though. I'm working on. Okay, we got the top three. So then we got the top three right here. So I want your top three classical artists of all time. Damn. And I want your top three R&B artists of all time. Oh mm. shit, my classic art, a uh, man. Fuck, uh, that's not fair. Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's up in the well, air. Well, the world's not fair. That man yeah, don't cry about it's fair. It's up in the air. Okay, let's see. Uh, of all times, yeah, all time. Damn. Okay. Doom, da, doom. Kanye West is one of them. Uh, oh what for what R&B? No, 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 no. Just classical. No, you say classical. Classical oh, okay. R&B. So, uh, classical R&B. Uh -huh. No, classical. And R&B. Okay, we'll do R&B yeah, first. We're going to do R&B first. I'm got to say my dude who piss on people, R. Kelly. That's one. R. Kelly. <laughs> that's Mr. One. Pissy. You know that's what I'm you know that's, that's my guy. Uh, is it just one person or a group? Uh, you can put it in a group. Jodeci. Jodeci. Okay, I bet. Jodeci. Bet. And uh, who else the fuck I be um, listening to out that car? I was like, this nigga be jamming. Um, damn. It's the weekend. The weekend. Okay, the weekend. Yeah, all right. So Shout out I, to the weekend. I fuck with so. All right, all right. Now we need all top three classical. You know what I'm talking about? Classical is in what? They like hip hop? No, classical music. music. Nigga. Oh. Then you said Beethoven and all that. So, so my first one is, is uh, Beethoven. Okay, Sebastian Bob. Them the only two I like. Beethoven and Sebastian Bob. Them the only two I have a three. Oh, and you don't have a three? Mm -mm. Oh, Them shit. Them the only two I like. Oh, okay. Cause right. they, I learned how to play uh, Beethoven, uh, Moonlight Sonata. Right. You don't, you don't, like, the, you don't like Oompa Loompa? No. You don't like the Mozart? Like, oh. He don't like oh, that. Oh, Mozart is Mozart. dope. He's oh. dope. 
Okay. But I'm more, I'm just, I don't know if Sebastian Bach is okay, both or I mean, Sebastian Bach is Sebastian. I'm talking about Oompa Loompa, you know what I'm saying? Oompa, Oompa, Loompa, Dee Doo. What the fuck is wrong? That's the ass club, nigga. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Charlie in the chocolate factory. I got it, man. Fuck it. Willy Wonka, my bad. That's Willy Wonka, yeah, that's classical right there. I said Charlie in the chocolate factory. So what's your goals for the next five years, man? Uh, to be really, I just my my goal right now. I got a three year goal. Mm. I just want to come and get get in the game, then get out. Oh, okay, you trying? Uh, uh, yeah, because uh, I done, I'm like, okay, uh, I yeah. get to get you three hot records every year, and I just want to transfer to doing movies. Doing you know? movies. Oh doing yeah, movies oh, and yeah, writing books and shit. Already. Like you know what I mean? I like to write books. I want to do movies and own companies. Man, you know what I mean? Like man. company, company, company. Because my grandfather used to say. Uh, it don't matter if you own a house or a car. If you don't own yourself, you ain't got shit. You're right. So that makes sense to me. So you know, and plus being African American, we rarely get to own anything. Shit. You know what I mean? So I want to own shit that I can pass yeah, down. Shit. One thing I learned about us African American shit, or whatever you want to call us, you know what I'm saying? Negroes, Negroes. Motherfuckers, <laughs> motherfuckers been owning shit. We just decided, you know what I'm saying, to relinquish. You know what I'm saying? Relinquish what we owe. You know what I'm saying? We decide. You know what I'm saying? To integrate. You know what I'm saying? Instead of staying separate. Uh, Segregated. Yeah, you know we, what I'm yeah, we get that yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, hey, you know. We you know gained up ours and they kept their shit. You know how to cut the chrome. <laughs> you know how that motherfucking book <laughs> roll. You know what I'm saying? Man, that shit is wild. I mean, how we get that shit. Mm -hmm. But I, th I think it's. Wish y'all can see that contract. I think if we come together more, I think if we just really sit down and talk to one another. Right. Like, really to understand. Right. We'll be okay. Because it's still weird because we still mug each other for no apparent fucking reason. Not for no reason. Mm -hmm. like, like, nigga, I exactly. could be the man that could put you in the right position. You know what I'm saying? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, what the fuck? And then like you ready to blast my head off because of whatever. I mean, that shit's gay. Talking about that nigga head up ain't right. Fuck, <laughs> something to talk about. Indoctrinated. Yeah. For real. Talking about that nigga, 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 that I need your, I need a fucked up ass. You gotta tell me one of your weed fucked story. up ass weed stories. I, I can't because I'm a weed okay, story. Okay, great. Okay, I'll tell you a Savia story. Okay, okay, all right, bitch. Some people don't know what Savia is. But is that that black mm -hmm. shit? Oh, so you do. Like, come on, man. Yeah, come on, man. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, Salvia, that really set the tone for my mind, though. I kind of loved, I loved it for what it did because I was chasing the Jimi Hendrix, the doors high. shit nasty in the but bitch. Now, and let me explain. It, because this shit is like a hallucinogenic. It's a fucking trip. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I was watching the doors and shit. I was like, I want to get this high <coughs> where I can see the music and it comes out in color. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh like I want to get this high. How they? Because back then they, they music they made was like fucking eternal. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck are they making this sound? Mm -hmm. And so I bought some salvia. Mm -hmm. I smoked the shit and I felt the back of my teeth. Then I can feel the holes and shit. Then I start feeling funny and shit. Next thing you know, I'm on the ground talking about some. Oh, that nigga turn the Incredible Hulk. That nigga gonna turn the Incredible Hulk on a nigga and shit. Oh man, I, I chased the girl out the house. Oh, rawr, rawr. oh you were scared the bitch. Scared the girl. Oh, and then man. I think I, uh, I got in the closet. I was in the closet rocking back and forth. I was like, oh my daddy don't love me. I don't know what's going on. I was fucked up. <laughs> But listen, kids, don't try that at all. Don't try that shit. I was really fucked up. So look, my crazy ass. Okay, I have to come down. I'm gonna try it again. No, right. I'm gonna try it again. So I went and tried it with my own boy. So this time I did. Try it again. I tried it again. So okay, me and my boy, we were smoking yeah, shit. Learned this. I ain't learned, I'm hard headed. <laughs> so I had a shirt with eagles on it, right? right? And I'm moving the shirt like this, my friend. Man, your eagles move. And I'm like, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. <laughs> he was wrong. I said, just don't touch me. He started touching me. I took the shirt off. He just had a shirt, had a shirt, had a shirt. I ran outside. I'm looking at the sky. He said, what the fuck you looking at? Look at the eagle. It's flying into the sun. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. I was high as fuck. <laughs> I was like, oh my fucking God. But on I was on one, so don't ever smoke that shit. But when I went to the studio, I heard sounds that I never heard before. You know what I mean? So I was like, oh, this is the mushroom psychedelic LSD high right. they was on. Cause it really did help me hear shit. I was right. like, that's how I can go, and then did a little boy. And I just started listening to it. I said, okay, they sound like Bone Thugs at Home. I can't do that. Let me twist it this way. Twist it this way, right. And so now I just started learning how to play with it because right. that shit just had my mind just fucking with sound. Right. So now I just, I like to make sound. Like, okay, I'm going to make it sound like this. 
And I just fuck with it. But that's the most high fucked up story I got. Like, yeah, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? That salvia. They call yeah. it the, ca the, the castle of death. That yeah. shit crazy, man. Man, fuck that, that shit. Crazy. I want I to be on that shit. So, <laughs> Don't do that shit. Like, so, you know, we got, we, here go a message from my sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You're a massive for my goddamn sponsor right here. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm finna plug it for real. Watch. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna massive for my sponsor right here. If you need any eyelashes, you need any hair bundles, you need any fashion, you need any shoes, make sure you hit DeshanteWay.com. Make sure you use the lip promo code. You know what I'm saying? Get you, you know what I'm saying? 30% off to 75% off any product. I mean, not all products, but you just choose through there. You know what I'm saying? Use your code and you see what it works on. You know what I'm talking about? You know how we do it. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you go check out, you know what I'm saying? More Than My Skin by Kiera Sally. Link is in the description. Make sure you check out my boy Cuddy. You know what I'm talking about? Book is in the description. Oh yeah, you know how we do it. Make sure you know. Make sure we have a window. They ain't came and got their glass yet, but make sure you come out and check out Cardinal Signs. Get your uh two two uh what two 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 right? Cardinal Signs two two two. Yeah, Cardinal Signs two two two. You know what I'm saying? You can get your own pimp glasses. She got wine glasses. She got any type of glass she want. They custom made. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, laid in the shade. You know what I'm talking about? Uh oh, Cardinal Signs two two two. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, they make all any type you want, any type of glass you want, pimp glass, everything. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Look a look a look a mugs, you know what I'm saying? Shit, look. Oh, it's handmade, yeah. Really? Yeah, they handmade. Yeah, yeah uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's going yeah. down. It's going yeah. down. You know that what I'm talking about? That shit is dope. Oh, Stimulus man. wine glass. And he really just plugged that shit. Now, and you, oh, not, you need to get the music. That oh, oh no, hold on, well, hold on. I ain't even through. You know I need that too. So make sure you go shout out my boy Cuddy. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you go get his book, Freedom of Mind. The link is down in the description. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to oh. Tribal Farms. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there we go. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know how we do it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my motherfuckers that be supporting. You know what I'm saying? And you know, shout out to all my guests that you know just come out here and really just show out. Shout out, you know what I'm saying? To I am Legend. You know what I'm saying? We ain't out of here yet. I still got a question. You know what I'm saying? To ask. You know what I'm saying? Before we get out of here. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna ask my question. So. I'm high, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, um, if you was in my shoes, and I always ask this question to everybody who come on my podcast, okay. if you was in my shoes, is there a question that you would have asked yourself that I didn't ask you? I think you didn't. What, what is, uh, oh, you, want, you want me to re answer the no, question? No, 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 because right, I'm thinking uh, like. Cause you asked all the questions. Okay. I asked all the questions. I mean, because you, you wanted to know about the music, you know about right. the music. Right. You wanted to know about how my fucked up drug story. Right. Right. Like that. right. You right. asked my thoughts on platinum plaques, and we talked about African American people, right. 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 whatever you want to call them mm -hmm. this week. You hit everything on his nail. There's nothing I really talked about. Only thing, only thing I can say is this: uh, go to my um, go to my Instagram. Go Look. to King 99 I am Look. Go ahead and hit that link tree and go listen to my EP. Samples of my EP. Went now. Apologize later. Go get my book, Black Velvet. Go check out the lyric video for what you got and go hit that Spotify, that distro click. Get that you know what I'm talking about? You see that? And we got another book. We got another, you know what I'm saying? Right up in here, you know what I'm saying? Publisher, you know what I'm saying? You know how we do it in the building, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I say, everybody, you know what I'm saying? On my podcast, you know how we do it, you know what I'm saying? We say, man, shout out, man. Much love, you know what I'm saying? Always support. You know what I'm saying? My motto, Media Matic, make sure you plug that support is free. Like I say, everything down in the description box. Oh, and another thing. Don't look at the messenger. Test attention to the message. You know what I'm saying? Roll up a blunt and stay lit, bitch!